Today on our 2007 GMC Sierra 1500, we're going to be taking a look at and showing you how to install the Hopkins Custom Taillight Wiring Kit for towed vehicles, part number HM56101. This is what our four pole looks like when it's installed. This is going to give you all the proper lighting functions for your vehicle when it's being towed behind an RV. It's going to give you your brake lights, your right turn signal, left turn signal, your running lights, and your ground. Now normally you would mount this somewhere, but we're going to be upgrading to a six pole, so we're going to leave it like this for now. So this is your wiring kit that we're going to be using. We're going to need to gain access to the back side underneath the vehicle. This is what's going to plug into your existing wiring from your factory. This is going to be your converter box. This is your four pole that we're going to be running to the front and your ground wire. So now here at the back of the vehicle, we're on the driver's side. If you look to the left of the spare tire, you can see a few plugs that are plugged into a box. What we need to get access to is this blue one right here. You see this gray tab right here? You're just gonna push down and pull out. So what you wanna do before making your connection, we're gonna take the included terminal grease and we're gonna put it in each one of our connection points here. It's gonna help with corrosion. Now we match our plugs, put it in until it locks. Next thing we're going to do is we need to mount our diode box. Right up here there's some existing wiring from the factory. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to go up and over top the frame to zip tie it on there. Before doing that, I want to take and I want to get all these wires tied together. So I'm going to take some wire loom that I had laying around the shop. You can just take some electrical tape if you want just to keep them all together. Now we'll take some more electrical tape. We'll just kind of run it up and around this just to make sure our wires stay inside of it. Next we'll take our four pole in. We're going to go up and over top the frame and then pull all of our extra wire over. I'm going to take my diode box and the zip tie and I'm going to go up and around my existing wiring and I'm going to feed it through the two holes on each side of the box and then I'm going to pull it tight up against that wiring. Next I'm going to run my four pole flat to the front of the vehicle. Let me get that done real quick and I'll show you how I did it. So from the dial box here all I did was this part that I bundled this section that I zip tied around I actually just fouled that all the way up to the front of the vehicle. So right above the frame here you can see I zip tied to it, went over the top of our fuel tank, you see right here, I just filed the existing wiring along the top side of the frame, above this bracket, all the way up to the front where it starts to go up. And what I did from here, so I took an airline tube from the top and I fed it down following this line, put some electrical tape on my four pole end. Now I'll go to the top, so now from here we'll just start routing our four pole up to the top. One thing I do suggest is go back down and check again to make sure you're not snagged on anything and you have all of your line as tight as you can get it. So now what I want to do is route my four pole wire around and I want to go in front of my radiator to the inside of my grill. I'm going to zip tie right here. Then I'm going to go underneath of this box here. And then if you look right down on this corner, there's a couple of hoses. I'm going to zip tie to one of them. You can see this plastic cover here. There's a half square cut out or notched out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to run my four pole around this, the front side of it to my grill. I'm going to try and stay away from my radiator as much as possible because the radiator gets hot. Next thing we need to do is we need to mount our ground wire. We're going to remove this top panel here. Now how we do that is you're going to have eight pushpin fasteners. Flathead screwdriver, pull up on the center. We're just going to set that aside for now. Next, 
I'm gonna take my included self-tapping screw. I'm gonna find a good grounding location. Now you just wanna tighten that enough to where it stays still and doesn't move. Not so tight that you break off the ring terminal. So what I did is I took my extra wiring and you can see right here, I bundled it all together and just zip tied it to this frame bracket here. I just ran my four pole right out the front of my grill. Next, we can put our plastic panel back in place. Next, we'll test our lights using an alternate power source. Left blinker, right blinker, and tail lights. And that'll do it for the Hopkins Custom Tail Light Wiring Kit for Towed Vehicles, part number HM56101 on our 2007 GMC Sierra 1500. Thanks for watching and click the link in our description below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com. And leave us a comment if you have any questions.